Hey guys, Sandra here for the peas. Um, so I just woke up this morning, um, which is why I look crazy. Um, but I wanted to make this video as soon as I woke up because I literally tossed and turned all night long last night um, because I was so excited. <laughs> I have so much energy and I am so excited right now and I want to share it with you guys because Josh and I had the most amazing time yesterday at the Direct Action Everywhere roundtable meeting for Colorado Springs and Denver. And um, we met some amazing abolitionist activists. Um, Direct Action Everywhere is, is very um, abolitionist. It's not a welfare group. They're very much about you know, ending animal suffering and, and going into places of oppression and actually you know, taking this kind of Kingian, I don't know if that's a word, but I mean that I did, but you know, Dr. Martin Luther King's you know, philosophy of going into the house of oppression and acting as if the status quo is already the way that it should be, that, that animals already have a voice, that animals are, are, are already free and that somebody is, is you know, carrying on this, this terrible thing there. And, and that is, is very much what we're about. Josh and I very much um, take the abolitionist approach. And, and um, so it was really cool, not just to, to get to meet people who are you know, kind of of a like mind, but though they gave us so much support and and so much faith and confidence that what we're doing with project alarm clock is really going to benefit and help the animals um because at the end of the day that's that's always our biggest worry like i i don't know maybe maybe i probably every activist um has this kind of worry or um, maybe anxiety is a better word that we're not doing enough that we're not getting enough done for the animals because you look around and it's all you see, you know, it's, it's everywhere. It's like every, every house, you know, I pass feels like it has a dog chained up in the backyard who's, you know, not getting enough attention and not, not being treated like a member of the family. Every, every time I'm driving down the highway, I'm looking at pastures of cows that are, you know, tagged for slaughter from birth. I'm, I'm looking at, you know, factories where they're processing the dead bodies of my friends. And, and I'm sure that other activists must feel the same way, like looking at, oh, I made a YouTube video. Great. You know, I hope that somebody watches it. I hope that somebody listens to it because everybody else is apparently blind to the fact that animals even have emotions or feelings or desires of their own. And so being with so many like-minded people yesterday, getting the support that we did, you know, hearing people say like, you're doing a great job, like keep doing it, like somebody's gonna listen to you. Um, <laughs> it was really beautiful. And I'm so happy that we're doing this because we honestly have everything to lose. Josh and I have quit our jobs. We're trying to be activists full time because it's what we believe in because I remember working retail jobs. Like I've been working retail jobs probably, you know, since I, I could work since 16. So in the last 10 years. And I always remember even before I was vegan, like I saw all the things wrong with the world. I saw so much, so much going on. And I, I would think like, oh, I should help. I should be out there. I shouldn't be behind this counter making money for other people, making money for myself. I should be out there. I should be helping. And now that's what we're doing. We're really going out there. We're really trying to help. We're really going to do this. And um, we might end up completely broke. We might end up completely hungry. <laughs> and um, we're, we're really comfortable with that. We're really comfortable with that. As long as we're making headway for the animals, then that's, that's what matters. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just, I tossed and turned all night last night thinking about Project Alarm Clock. It's starting tomorrow. Um, if you don't know what Project Alarm Clock is, um, and you're just seeing me cry like as a hot mess this morning, um, you should check out our other our other um, uh, videos um, on YouTube about Project Alarm Clock. You can also go to our Facebook or Instagram or our Twitter, um, where we, we try to release as much content as we can, both for animal um, animal liberation and the abolitionist uh, stance, as well as you know pictures of food and, and all kinds of other stuff to help inspire people to. Um, adapt a vegan lifestyle and to really understand what a vegan lifestyle means. So check us out. Please support us. Um, even if you can't support us, share our videos. That's always free. We, we totally understand because we're there. We can't support us right now. <laughs> um, we're, we're trying hard, but um, it, it'll, it'll definitely be a community effort. So um, Project Alarm Clock is coming, guys. Whether we go broke or not, whether we have the funding for it or not, whether we have the support for it or not, we're going to be out there every single damn day. 
speaking truth for the animals to people who want to hear it or not. We're going to be there. So <sighs> fudge. I'm so excited. I could say so many curse words right now because I'm so excited that I'm trying to keep our channel PG. So I love you guys. Please continue to live your awesome plant powered, positive experiences. Send as much positivity and love into the universe as you can for the animals. Um, I'm even wearing my <laughs> animal suffer and diet at SeaWorld t-shirt. Um, there you go. I live, eat, and breathe animal liberation because I, I just woke up. Now you know. So, All right. I'm sorry. This has just been me crying and looking crazy, but <laughs> I'm trying to be as real with you guys as I can because this is us. We have nothing to hide. We are all about the animals, and we love you guys. So peace. We'll see you later. Have a great day, and can't wait for Project Alarm Clock tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye.